So this is the main user interface of VPM. The list queue will display the details of each job that arrives in VPM, including the name, status, the device we're printing on, and all the other relevant details of the job. To the right of this, we have the main preview area. As I select a job within the list queue, a visual image of the job is displayed here, enabling it to be easily identified. I can use these zoom tools to expand on any area of the image and use the side buttons to pan as well. The area below this is one of the elements that makes VPM so quick to use and access the tools I need. For example, if I want to crop the currently selected image, I simply need to hit this tab to access those tool sets. I don't have to go looking through menus at the top to find what I need. Finally on the left here we have the archive queue. Jobs are placed here once they have been sent for production and this enables us to then delete or archive the jobs including any printer specific details like the print mode and media we used for future use. It's possible to adjust the properties of these areas to suit your preference. For example, we can make the preview area much larger or smaller. Now during the setup wizard, we had the opportunity to set our page properties. This is an area that will need changing as you use different media. With no jobs in the queue selected, a tab to enter the media properties is available here. So I can click on this at any time and then enter specific values and margins. Setting the correct media dimensions is essential to getting the most from VPM's automated nesting and tiling facilities. So we have made access in these properties easy and direct. When I click on the media tab, it actually opens the queue properties window. If I have just changed my media and updated the sizes, it's likely I also need a new print mode to match. I don't need to exit and find this section of VPM. While I'm here, I can simply click on the general tab and change to a mode to suit my new media type.